Anthem has been pretty secretive with how the game will work in terms of actual official gameplay or info, but they have been extremely forthcoming on answering player questions on Twitter. So much so in fact that there are literally hundreds of small bits of info that can be compiled together to give us a bigger picture on certain aspects of the game. So in this video I have tried to get as much info as possible on anything related to loot, crafting, gear and customization but only the parts in relation to actual looting in-game. If you find this video very helpful, a like is super appreciated. Now, most of this info is from Mark Dara on Twitter from the last six months or so, plus from other sources like trailers, but because there's so much of it, I'm sure there is something I've missed, and if I have, let me know in the comments. But we can start with the basic types of loot. We can't confirm yet exactly what types of loot there will be in the final game, but we do know what there is so far. Number one, which is an obvious one, weapon loot. Far from killing enemies, it can be found in other ways like rewards, I'm sure, but one way is from dropped loot. Currently, there are six tiers of weapon loot, common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, and masterwork. This also applies to other loot found, so it's not just limited to your weapons. The legendary masterwork tiers are also still not finalized. They may swap around. It's still a little uncertain how they will work exactly, but the first levels up to epic will be the way it works. We have already seen one weapon in game so far from the reveal trailer, which you can see on screen. There are other types of loot as well though in the game. Gear, parts to upgrade your javelin, we know you can upgrade your suit to legendary or masterworks. Cosmetic items, which will customize the way your javelin looks, but won't alter any of your stats. And finally, we have crafting. Crafting materials, both schematics and components, according to Mark Dara. He was asked if crafting required components or both components and schematics, and he said he was pretty sure it required both. So those are the four different things we know of so far that you can loot in game. But we do have some specific info on how loot will work. So we'll start with loot level, drop rates, and similar things. Loot level when dropped is tied to your pilot level, and your javelins do not level separately, but their progression is stated to be tied to weapons and gear. So basically this means if you play to level 20 on a Colossus for example, and you decide you want to change to Interceptor, well it won't take long to find gear to bring the Interceptor pretty much up to speed, because your pilot will already be level 20, and the gear you'll be finding for your new javelin will be level 20. So that is the way that it's currently slated to work. As stated many times before, javelins are basically just a base. It's your pilot who has all the abilities. What about drop rates then? Well, loot drop rate is weighted towards the javelin you're currently piloting, as in most loot will be for Colossus if you're using a Colossus, which makes sense. However, you can get loot for other javelins while playing, but the chances are much lower. So all loot won't be specifically for the javelin that you're using, but most of it will, but you can still find others. Also to do with loot drops is that loot is instanced to the player only. So you can't steal other players loot and you don't have to worry about missing any kind of loot either because it is confirmed as well that any loot that you miss in the world will be delivered by a mail system back to Fort Tarsis with the exception of common gear because there will probably be quite a lot of it that you don't want. But you don't need to worry about accidentally missing good gear which is very important in a game that's about killing and looting. Finally, on actual loot, loot levels, the level of loot when it drops will match your level. So if you're playing with a higher level player, then the loot you will find will still be your level. And you don't have to worry about finding anything that you can't use. The same applies if you're a higher level and you're playing with someone who's a lower level, you won't have to worry about finding low level loot that you won't need. Okay, so let's move on to loot rarity and locations. Well, harder content like strongholds, for example, will have higher chances to find rarer loot, which are found in chests and most will not require anything like a key. Different locations have different loot tables though, so we will likely have to go to specific areas or content in order to find certain types of loot. However, as far as certain areas having, say, set loot, like a boss in a stronghold, from what we know so far, this won't be the case. You should be able to get rare loot from a regular enemy, but the chances, of course, from a difficult boss in a stronghold will be much higher of finding it, say, compared to a regular common enemy. So this hasn't been confirmed 100%, but from what we know so far, this is how it will work. But I like this system though, not limiting loot to certain bosses, for example, just making rarer loot easier to find in more difficult areas. So finally then, how will loot work? Well, whenever you kill an enemy or enemies, a glowing diamond appears that you can pick up and open for a loot as seen in the official gameplay reveal. You can see on the screen, I showed you it earlier when you got that weapon. However, the game is all about chasing loot, so you can find the same weapon over and over, and every time it will have slightly better stats. 
are presumably so will have worse stats. We don't have a definitive answer on, on how stats will work. Will it just be random or will it be within like a 10% margin above or below your current weapon? It's still unclear how that will work, but you will get to the point, of course, where you max out your weapon and javelin with a perfect loadout, which is what you're aiming for. But if it's anything like Destiny and we know it's going to be similar, then you can expect a really long time to do that. Thousands of hours potentially, especially as you have four javelins to work on, each with a different loadout that works for that playstyle. So the game is all about looting and grinding for loot. Get the weapon that you want with as good a stats as possible, just as you would expect for any loot grinding game. What about crafting then? Well, there's no real news on that. We know it's gonna be in the game and John Warner says it's actually really cool the way it works in game. So I'm looking forward to it. But all we know is that you can find components and schematics as loot for crafting. But other than that, we don't know anything. Crafting may play a vital role in upgrading weapons and gear. I guess we will just have to wait and see. If it's anything like Destiny 2, then crafting will be a good way to get some of the strongest weapons. But we will just have to find out when we get more info. Finally then, on looting, what about cosmetics and gear? Well, this is split into customization and personalization because personalization being your look and customization being your gear. The gear in your javelin doesn't necessarily affect how it appears because you can personalize your javelin with cosmetic items which you can find. There will of course also be paid cosmetic items as well. Cosmetics can change the way your javelin looks by quite a lot as seen with the pre-order Legion of Dawn armor. It's quite different from the way your javelin looks by default. Even if the stats are the same, they do look different. If you want to change the stats of your javelin to be better, then you can upgrade as you find higher quality gear from loot, but you should be able to stick to the same look as you increase your stats if you want to. So basically, if you want to keep the way your character looks from the very start of the game, you can do that and you should be able to upgrade your gear from rare to legendary items if that's what you want to do. Customization finally can only be done at Fort Tarsus or other hub areas. So if you find anything as loot, then you will have to return to one of those. Well, I think that's everything we know so far about looting in game, how it works, what can be looted and the differences between things. There are still plenty of unanswered questions like how crafting will work, but if I missed anything, leave in the comments for others to see. I try to get everything though in the video. Like and subscribe for loads of Anthem news as we get closer and closer to release. Have an awesome day and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.